corals are tiny animals. The vast reefs they build support a quarter of all marine life and are crucial to human survival. But now, these precious creatures are in crisis. Disturbing news about the state of the world's largest living ecosystem. Human activity has pushed atmospheric CO2 to its highest level in 800,000 years, causing catastrophic ocean heat waves that bleach corals of all color and life. La Grande Barrière de Corail est en danger. Scientists declared the third ever global coral bleaching crisis. It's very clear that half a degree matters. With one and a half degrees, 70 to 90 percent of coral reefs are lost. But at two, it's virtually all of them. The, the urgency of this cannot be overstated. The changes are real, the changes are rapid, and they can be quite extreme. Let's face it, if conditions change fast, you have a couple of options. You move, you adapt, or you die. They don't have thousands of years to adapt to these warming temperatures. They've got decades. This is the story of scientists fighting a desperate race against time, unlocking the secrets of millions of years of coral evolution and trying to speed it up. Some corals are doing better than others, and the question is why? Can we help them? Can we accelerate natural selection? Can we accelerate adaptive rates? If we are going to save coral reefs, it means that we have to start intervening. These ideas are new and experimental. Have we ever approached our science that way? No. Si on fait rien, dans 50 ou 100 ans, on aura peut-être quasi plus de coraux. And for the first time, this daring research will be put to the test. Honestly, we don't know whether it's going to work. But what is the risk of doing nothing at this point? The risk of doing nothing is the risk of risking every reef on the planet. <laughs>